The biggest question that I get asked on this channel is how can I become more self-reliant? How can I take more control over my life and stand on my own two feet? The problem that people face nowadays is that people feel like they have no control over their life. They feel as if everyone else is dictating to them what to do. This could be from your parents, your boss or even your own girlfriend. And all it's doing is contributing to the mass epidemic of weaker men. It's causing you to feel insecure and weak about your life. It's making you feel frustrated as such. And it's making you feel like you have no sense of purpose. And to be frank, that is nothing more than an injustice that is getting put upon people. No man or woman should ever have to feel like they are not in control over their lives. But I understand that sometimes it's hard to stand up for yourself. I understand that it may be hard to sometimes say no to people. I understand what it's like to feel like you have no control over your life. But if you take that risk of assuming control over your life, in order for you to take that leap of faith towards your dreams, you sometimes require something to help you push you over the edge to do so. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a simple three-step process that will help you become that person. That person that is on a journey towards achieving their dreams and taking more control over their lives. So make sure you stick around to the end to find out. So step one of the process of starting your journey to assuming more control in your life is recognizing that there is evil inside you. Yes, you heard me right. You are capable of some pretty fucked up shit. I mean, right now, you are able to go into your kitchen drawer, grab a knife and start stabbing the postman as soon as he pulls through your letterbox. And so are the heroes that we look up to through history and movies. Superman is capable of destroying our whole planet. Harry Potter is capable of being the most fucked up wizard of all time. Bruce Lee was capable of killing a man with his bare hands. When we start to look at our favourite characters and idols, we realise that they are pretty much fucked up. But just because they are capable of committing evil, doesn't mean that they do. And this leads me to the second step of starting your journey of assuming more control. And that's choosing not to be evil. Superman is clearly capable of destroying our planet but he chooses not to. Harry Potter is capable of becoming the strongest wizard of all time. But again, he chooses not to. And this is the point I want to hone down onto you. You as a human being are capable of some very evil shit. I mean, just take a look at our history through all the atrocities that we have committed as humans throughout time. Societal conditioning will teach you to ignore these things, but I don't think you should ignore them at all. A strong person is not someone that simply causes you no harm. A real strong person is someone that is aware that he can cause you harm, but chooses not to anyways. An example of this is with Beauty and the Beast. It's not the beast itself that Belle falls in love with, But it's the person that has the beast inside of him, but he is able to tame and control the beast. And this ability of recognizing that a monster lives inside you, but still being able to tame and control it, is what makes you a powerful human being. This idea is what is known as becoming dangerous, which is highlighted by the clinical psychologist Jordan Peterson. And so, you, you know, in, again, in the Harry Potter stories, you see he's touched by evil, right? He, he actually has a soul fragment that's embedded within him that's as black as anything can possibly be. That's why he could talk to snakes. But without that, he wouldn't be able to have any victory. And that's exactly right psychologically. Unless you can think the way that an evil person thinks, then you're defenseless against them because they'll go places you can't imagine and then they win. 
there are variants of hero archetypes that are relevant to women, and one of them is Beauty and the Beast. And, you know, Beauty isn't interested in the guy who isn't the beast. She's interested in the guy who's the beast, and that's exactly right, but he, she's interested in the guy who's the beast that can be civilized and disciplined, right, and who can use that in the service, well, let's say, of a family. The reason why Superman is able to stand up against evil is because he recognizes that there is evil inside of him, but he chooses not to be that. He chooses to do good. This again is very similar to Batman's story. Batman is a pretty dark character, and he is more than capable of killing all his enemies. But he chooses not to. And adopting this type of mindset is what liberates you from being under other people's control. It allows you to recognize and differentiate between good and bad, which leads to step three of the process, which is to realize this potential that you have. Now that you know that there is evil inside of you and you are actually quite capable of dangerous things, you should know that someone else having control over your life is a bad thing. By being simply obedient, is not a good thing. But for you to realize that something is wrong and stand up against it, that is what makes you a strong person. This is why the greatest people that we idolize throughout history are mainly associated with standing up for something. And all of these people, we can analyze and actually see that the common trait between all these people is that they are dangerous. But they know how to control it. So this idea of becoming a dangerous man is about not being afraid to stand up against injustice. Whether that's being done in society or upon yourself, you are capable of standing up to people. You are capable of saying no to your parents if that's not what you want to do with your life. The exact same principle can be applied to everyone else you are capable of taking control of your life. Because you realize that you are capable of a lot more. Becoming dangerous doesn't mean that you have to be a dick to everyone. It just means that you realize that there is a monster inside you. Yet you still choose to tame and control it to do good. Such as standing up for yourself and overcoming not being in control. If you don't realize this, you will have other people dictating to you what to do. Whereas when you come to terms with this process and implement it into your life, only then can you experience a much more fulfilled and satisfied life by living your life on your own terms. As I said in the Art of War video, it is much better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in war. Thanks for watching.